Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. This is an explosion. That's what it is. It's like a, a small bomb went off, right? The new motor is here and it's looking great. Yo, check it, check it. Look at all these cop cars. I heard there was just a, a guy was in a car. It must have been a stolen car. That means that whole motor gotta be broken down, taken apart so that the crank can come out so that they can fix that gear. Alright guys, so the work is coming along. It is coming along. But real quick, I just gotta show y'all something. Yo, shine your light over here, Dre. Bro. Oh my god. Yo. Okay, just so y'all so y'all can understand. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what this looks like. Holy good God, man. I'm just so happy that right the transmission looks good. Everything looks good. Nothing looks like it got hurt. There's no cracks in the bell housing or anything. Because that could have been really bad. So when you took this apart, the metal piece just fell out? Yeah. Jeez. Uh, what is that? Uh, what the hell happened? Yeah, all that. Just Everything just broke. Ah, two connecting rods going the same way, y'all. That's crazy. Yo, look, it's cracked up here. It's cracked. Bro. I told y'all the fire was massive. This is an explosion. That's what it is. It's like a, a small bomb went off, right? That's the factory cam. Yeah, that ain't good. I know. I, I'm glad we got a new cam. <laughs> factory cam got destroyed. Jesus, guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Boy, y'all never seen nothing like this before. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. This what we all saw already. Yeah. We saw the oil pan, too. That the oil pan was busted out. We, I saw that before, but we didn't see this. This is crazy. Transmission looks good. This stock trans, I must say, has been holding up to a lot. Cause I throw a lot of power at this transmission. Is there things that, let me see. This is soft. You think I should get a, a hardened one? No, right? Leave it the way it is. Let it flex a little bit. Okay. All right, guys, but here, look. Oh, by the way, that's the McLeod clutch. That's my RXT 1200. We're going to take it apart and make sure that the clutch is 100% A1, obviously. But the new motor is here. And it's looking great. It is looking great, man. Uh, head studs installed. Cam is in. What else is done? Timing gear looks like it's on. Timing gear, the hydraulic lifters and Oh, I see the rollers, yes, yes. The lifters and rollers and stuff and such. Yes, all of that is in. Now we can't do anything else until we get the, the oil pump. We changing the oil pump. Yo, what, what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened? A guy got tased? Yo, check it, check it. Listen, this is New York, okay? This is New York City, B. Look at all these cop cars. I heard there was just a, a guy was in a car. It must have been a stolen car. Pulled over, jumped out, started running. All these cops were chasing him. They was all chasing the guy. And then, and then I heard they tased him. Hold on, hold on. Let me find out what happened. Because I'm guessing now. Yo, y'all was outside? Well, what happened? What happened? What happened? Tell me what happened. I don't know. I saw some guy run over there. And then the, one of the big cops was trying to chase him. And then he, I, I saw him get tased. 
he fell to the floor like pop. So did they tase him while he was in the car? Or outside? Yeah, he, was outside. he was running. He was running and yeah, they tased him and he just collapsed. Yeah, he was running real slow. He was running slow? He was like jogging. Like slow motion running, like jogging. Like, <laughs> he must have been some sort of high or something. That's crazy, man. Yo, that is New York City for y'all. <laughs> I tell you, man. man I didn't know you make podcasts and, and blogs and all that. Come stuff. on, man. Come on, man. That's what I do, baby. Yo, I told him. I said, yo, why y'all didn't call me when it was happening? They didn't, they didn't even hit me when it was happening, y'all. They just let it happen and they ain't say nothing. Yo, I would have screamed, yo, stop. Bring the camera. <laughs> so I could have caught that for y'all. I heard it was pretty. I mean, listen, I'm not laughing at nobody. Well, who has a mental condition or whatever the issue is because that's what that sound like to me somebody who was high is what that sound like because they said he was running in slow motion but you know if you high you think you move <laughs> if you if you high you think you're moving fast <laughs> but you're moving hella slow Yo, you saw you you saw it happen, Jack? I saw a little, a little. What'd you see? What'd you see? I, I just saw when he dove in the the, the passenger window. That sounds like And then they tasted him. <laughs> they tasted him. It's crazy. Yo, step go over there. Yeah, yo, I want to be. Nah, but they gonna tase me next. They just put him in the ambulance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he was probably sick or something, B. Like something is wrong with that man. Nobody, nobody does things like that that are of sane mind. You know what I'm saying? I heard they put him in an ambulance. Oh, one of them ambulance. All right, guys. Well, that's that's kind of pretty much what we have for you with the setup so far. We got to wait on a couple more parts. And when those parts come in, we can, can finish it. Finish putting the motor together. We're still a good ways from putting the car together. I mean, if you just look at the sea of parts that we have here, we, we still got a long ways to go, guys. I would say we are probably still about two weeks out from our first startup is what I would assume. Probably about two weeks out from our first startup of this thing. But honestly, that's a lot to be done in a short amount of time. And I cannot thank, I cannot thank enough in track tire. I can't thank enough this man right here who gets it done. He gets it done. I can't thank enough the team, man. The team behind me. God, it's a good feeling. I, whew. Jeez, but come with me, I gotta make a couple runs real quick. Come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. All right guys, so back at the shop real quick. We're waiting on a couple of packages to come in, um, but as we wait on packages, we don't just wanna sit and let nothing happen because there's always something to be done. For right now, what I wanna do is I wanna inspect. I have a McLeod RXT 1200 clutch in here, and I wanna inspect it to see because this is my second one. The first one, they shimmed incorrectly and it was slipping pretty bad but they replaced it under warranty however it sucks though because even though they're replacing it under warranty i still have to have the transmission drop to pull it out right now we don't want to put that same the clutch back in until we inspect it and see that it is currently holding at least the last you know 900 plus wheel horsepower the car was making before so we're going to check that now So upon initial inspection, it's looking good, guys. It's looking good. How does it look to you? Okay or good? Okay, new is good. What is that? What are we looking at there? It's heat. Cause it's um. So it's, it's not like because I remember before those discs had like missing chunks uh, yeah. before and it doesn't look like that. Let's go down to the next layer, I guess. All right, here we go to the last layer. It's 
So that side actually looks really good. That one, that side actually looks brand new. This is considered what? A two disc clutch or it's a twin disc clutch. So meaning two. Got it. So it's a twin disc clutch guys. And what we're looking at is the second disc, I guess. Yeah, but good. everything looked good though yeah. I, i'm i'm really happy to see that i'm happy to see that the clutch looks good so that's that's good to know i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all i was driving the hell out of this car in very very harsh summer conditions so for the clutch to be able to hold it under those conditions back to back run that tells me that we're gonna be good at least up until with tur and remember, supercharger hits hard immediately down low in RPM, whereas turbos hit higher in RPM. So it's going to be less stress on the clutch with turbos. So I'm expecting it to be able to hold probably about 1,100 wheel horsepower roll racing. Now from a dig, I don't have no expectations, but I am going to do a dig once I know I'm going to drop the transmission and do everything over the winter but for right now we're gonna stick to the rolls guys a lot of i get a lot of opinions i get a lot of back and forth oh it's whose fault is this fault that fault this fault that fault but understand the way that i'm able to deal with all the pressure and criticisms that i get from the audience from on instagram on youtube all over social media how i'm this i'm that some some good some not so good but no matter what i need y'all to understand that the way i live my life is only God could judge me. Available right now on modofame.com. Make sure you go get that. I just finished telling Vern they are working on a dyno right now. They're changing out the computer system on the dyno. And I was just telling them, I said, that's right. We better get this right. It got to be right because we about to break some records right now with this. Or the dyno, we about to make some crazy numbers. Because you know what I'm saying? Although I might run the car, I'm going to only run the car at about 1,000 between 1,000 and 1,100. But for and giggles you better believe we're gonna do a pull with full boost and make a quick 13 just for the dyno number just so y'all know what's up now granted the car won't run like that on the street with the current stop transmission and all that but yo let's get this dyno set up boy working let's get it set up it. working on it we getting it set up we getting ready for y'all to dyno jet you feel me <laughs> bro y'all have no idea y'all have no clue how hype i am bro to do this, man. I'm sh uh. Yo, my guys. This video was going real good. It had a real good energy to it. A real good feel. Let me tell you, man. It seems like lately it's always something. Like, always something lately. I, I can't even, like, describe it or explain it. I just got a um a phone call. Staff, we uh we were about to put the oil pan on a new motor, meaning that we moving along good. All the accessory drives is on the front, you know, it's it's it's, it's the, the heads is on and things is going real nice, right? And now they turn the motor over on a stand so that we can put the oil pan on. And when we turn the motor over, or when they turn the motor order over, this is what they see. They see the teeth, the, uh, from here, the damage. See them? Damage, 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 damage. I don't know, it's a crappy video take out there. But you should be able to see it though. I can't win. <laughs> All I can do is like laugh to keep from crying, B. I can't win. At all. So what you just saw was that is the crank gear it's a it's, it's a part of the crank right it's a little gear that's on the back that is like a timing gear but it's free flowing it doesn't have like any stress on it or nothing like that but however it has to spin in the perfect circle in order to know, to let the ecu know 
that everything is all right because it, it the crank position sensor reads that gear to know the timing the exact timing and everything so is it a chance that it could be okay and maybe it's not messed up enough i don't know but here's what i'm assuming happened here's the only thing that makes sense to me the motor was bolted to a crate so what i'm thinking is the motor was moving on the crate and like shipping they were, they were probably mad careless with it just tossing it around whatever because there's also another little small mark on the front of the motor but it wasn't going to be a big deal because it was on the outside of the block it wasn't i wasn't stressing that but this right here this halts everything this stops everything my brand new freaking motor bro brand new forged bottom end that i'm super excited about and want to get to you <laughs> listen man i gotta call uh steve white motors um steve white dodge uh they're in north carolina they've been a pleasure to deal with my guy luke you saw when he made the video saying that he was shipping me the new motor um they, he's been absolutely great so I'm gonna call him and find out what, what we gotta do now. And I pray everything goes smoothly because this is a bad situation. Nobody wants to be in this situation. I'm pretty sure Steve White, Dodge Chrysler is not gonna wanna be in this situation. And I sure as hell hate to be, hate to be the one to call him and say, hey, this motor you sent me, the crank gotta come out of it and get the, that gear gotta be repaired. That means that whole motor got to be broken down, taken apart, so that the crank can come out, so that they can fix that gear. Ain't nobody got time for that. I purposely bought a built motor in stock so that I could be quick and have this rebuild done fast as hell. And now look at this. I don't even know what else to say, man. Um, I'm going to come back to y'all when I know more. You know, more than likely in the next video. Because I ain't got nothing else to say today. I, I love y'all to death, but I ain't got nothing else to say. Right now, I'm in the airport. I just got the call. I'm about to board my flight. Guess who's going to have a very bad flight now? Yes. You guessed it. Anyway, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod Fame. I really appreciate y'all rocking out with me. I'm um, watching the videos. Continue your support. Continue copping the merch. I really appreciate y'all. Mind the thing, the standard, mind the thing, the mask. <laughs> At least I have y'all, right? At least y'all doing the right thing by me, and I appreciate it. But until the next one, listen, man, I'm here in the airport. No Hellcat. We out. We out.